ladies and gentlemen, I have another reading. And this one is especially controversial, which is the reason why I'm doing it. Um, before I go on, I want to say here's the key differences that I'm noticing between the conventional translation, for example, the King James Version, and these translations. Um, and I'm in no way implying like it's all 100% accurate. I don't know because obviously I don't know Aramaic. So, however, I could see that there is real truth in these words. There is real, noble, beautiful truth. And um, here's the key difference that I see between the conventional translation and this. In the conventional translation, there is an emphasis on correct conduct and behavior um, and things such as self-control, for example, uh, hence the word sin and all these things, um, which has its place, which is good, which can be beneficial. But as we both know throughout history, this has been used for control, manipulation, and for coercion and for subjugation of populations. But there is an element that is disciplinary that can have a very positive outcome. I, myself especially, could use some of that disciplinary work. But the difference between that translation and this is that in the Aramaic translation, it goes far beyond just an emphasis on correct conduct and behavior, but a complete inner transformation. So every passage implies some sort of internal message to you and how that internal message can transform you from the inside out. So, I don't know what the right term is. I don't want, I'm going to use self-realization, even though somebody's going to troll me and call me a new age hippie for saying that. But that would probably be a good word to use or a good term to use. Um, or just self-transformation. Um, at least that's how I'm interpreting this. So, basically, let me just read couple of pages here and uh, you take whatever you want from it I'm not asking you to believe it I'm not pushing anything on anyone uh, all right as we have seen in passages like I am the bread of life there are many instances where the word life that appears in the usual translations is not nafsha but rather high life energy or life force these include passages like John 10.10. 10. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. The Greek text uses the word zoe here, which also carries a sense of aliveness or physical energy. However, the general tendency has been to translate such words into English in a way that obscures their embodied character. This again stems from the Western concept of a split between he heaven and earth. Certainly, it changes the sense of the passage to translate at it as, I have come that they might have energy, and that they might have it in abundance, or that they might have all the abundance that goes with it. This would certainly provide a touchstone for one's participation in any spiritual or religious ritual in Jesus' name. This would provide the life energy that he promised. In Aramaic, in the Aramaic version, Hai also appears in the passages that mention eternal life, which occur most often in John. Here again, the tendency is to assume that such eternal life must be later somewhere other than here and now. The word for eternity in Aramaic is Alma, the same word translated 
the same word translated as world in Mark 8.36 at the opening of the chapter. This could also mean age, generation, or era. It is based on a root that means youth or newness. That is everything that constantly arises new in diversity and in the worlds of form. With these perspectives, we can also reconsider in an often quoted passage, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The word for begotten can also mean single, solitary, or united in all aspects of being. The word for believe, etaman, is based on the same root as amen, and suggests a sense of confidence, trust, or firmness coming from a rooted place. We saw Yeshua use another form of this word translated as faith, Hayamanuta, in chapter 2 when he examined his healing ministry. The word for perish is the same word for lose, Mark 8.35, to decay, fade away, or lose. So another hearing based on the Aramaic text for John 3.16 can be, For unity so loved diversity, all the worlds of form that are brought to you a child of unity, fulfilled in all aspects of self, so that whoever would have the same confidence in their own fulfillment, like the earth underneath supporting all, would not fade with their form, but continue from world to world with and in ever-living life. <laughs> I mean, that is just incredibly interesting. So I think one key word here is confidence. Now, that is definitely not a word that religious zealots would want to put in a book. Because they don't want you to be fulfilled and confident. They want you to be submissive and obey. But you see, Jesus, I believe the real Jesus wants to, his goal was to empower you, was to fulfill you, to, to you know, become the greatest version of yourself that you can be. And the con or, or even with the limitations that might be thrown at you at least to go through that inner transformation yourself. Of course, you know, that's just how I feel. It's just my opinion. And um, there's nothing wrong with self-empowerment. It's not satanic. It's not demonic. It's uh, There are things that those sort of occults uh, use, those sort of verbiages uh, to say that, but that's a different kind of self-empowerment. That's a selfish self-empowerment. This is an inner transformation, a self-empowerment that is that you can that will be reflected on others, that other people can see you, and that will have a positive impact. So it's a selfless inner transformation. At least that's how I see it. So I know one of you guys said that you ordered this book, and I think that's great. I think that's awesome. I think you're going to love it. So, And I also recommend another one that is pretty similar that I read a few years ago. Uh, SFX, if you're in the comments, I'll tell you what that one is. Because it's like this. It's a little bit more complex. It's a little bit more like you really have to focus on reading it, but it's really good too. So, all right.